Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video and today's topic is going to be why the defense and Greg Williams specifically deserves a ton of credit. But before we get started, I just wanted to mention that you can follow me on social media at Matt O'Leary and why on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And also, I wanted to give a shout out to Ryan from Jets Talk 24 seven. Thanks so much for having me on the live stream on Monday night. I had a blast. Hopefully I'm on there again real soon, buddy. I really had a lot of fun. OK, so now that we got the housekeeping stuff out of the way, let's get right into today's topic, which is going to be talking about the New York Jets defense, which actually has impressed me in a majority of their games. Because before the year started, if you remember, if you've been with the channel for a long time, I made a video talking about how the offense was going to be better than the defense for the first time in basically my fandom. And the reason for it was because the Jets brought in an offensive-minded head coach. Sam Donald was supposed to take the second-year leap. They brought in Le'Veon Bell. Their wide receiver trio was pretty decent. Uh, Chris Herndon was going to be back in the offense. And pretty much everything and anything has went wrong on the offensive side of the ball. But on the defensive side, yes, they've had their fair share of injuries. They've been more productive than what I would have expected. And we talk about the injuries and we talk about Greg Williams. And yes, I made a video too saying that I thought Greg Williams was a little bit overrated. But for the most part, in everything but about three games, I've been extremely satisfied from what I saw out of Greg Williams. CJ Mosley basically only had a healthy three quarters. He got hurt in the third or fourth quarter in the Buffalo game. He came back for one more game, I believe it was against the Patriots, but he didn't look like himself at all. I don't think he was really all that healthy. Tremaine Johnson and Dow Roberts, your two starting outside corners, which is an absolute joke. Both of them got hurt. Nate Harrison came in. He was terrible and then got hurt. Uh, you lost both inside linebackers. We talked about C.J. Mosley. Avery Williamson got hurt in the preseason. You trade away Leonard Williams, who was supposed to be one of the big parts of your defense. Jets defensive line still good. Quinn Williams, who's a top three pick, has been a, basically a non-factor. Despite all these variables, Greg Williams has not made any excuses. And that's the difference between him and Adam Gase. To me, Adam Gase is just looking for excuses. Oh, we need to get bodies back, which is true. And granted, when Sam Donald is down for three games, that really hurts. But it's just funny that on the defensive side of the ball, they are losing key pieces and they've lost a bunch and they're still productive and overachieving in some areas where on the offensive side of the ball, sure, there's been injuries, but it, it's been a wreck. The offensive line has been brutal. The quarterback play has been worse than it was last year. Granted, the last two games have been a step in the right direction. Robbie Anderson hasn't been productive. And part of the reason for that is because the offensive scheme that's being run. On the defensive side of the ball, it's like the complete opposite. Greg Williams' scheme has worked wonders for this New York Jets defense. Their overall defensive DVOA is 11th in the league. They are very close to having a top 10 defense in DVOA, and that is phenomenal. Granted, in the passing game, it's not as good. They're 21st overall in passing, but where they thrive is the run game. It's almost impossible to run against this defense, and that's without, for the most part, Quinnen and Leonard Williams, who everyone said, oh, they'll clog the run. Well, you shipped Leonard out of here. Quinnen's been a rotational piece, and they've gotten by with these no-name guys. And by the way, they are the number two ranked defense in DVOA in rushing, which is great, like I said. But nonetheless, they've gotten a ton of production out of guys that most people have never heard of. Nathan Shepard, who was a third round pick in 2018, has been great for this team. He has been really solid. He has two sacks in three games. Folu Fatukasi has been another big piece. He was a six rounder last year, and he has an 89 pro football focus rating. 89. He is one of the best interior defensive linemen in the game right now. Folu Fatukasi. Who would have thought that on a team that had Leonard Williams and Quinn Williams at the start of the year, Folo Fatukasi has arguably been your best defensive lineman. Even Henry Anderson has started to come on a little bit stronger too. Steve McClendon, solid. They signed him to come back. Those guys are getting production out of, but who would have thought that a 2018 third round pick who did virtually nothing his rookie year and Folu Fatukasi, who was, I think, inactive for every single game in 2018, is having the biggest impact on this defensive line. You have Jordan Jenkins, who is having another solid year off the edge. Granted, I don't think he's your prototypical edge rusher. I think he's a good edge setter. If you had someone like, in a perfect world, Khalil Mack on the other side, that makes Jordan Jenkins even better. But even if you address, whether it be free agency or the draft, Joe Douglas gets a real pass rusher on the other side, I think that makes Jordan Jenkins even better because I think he's just a solid piece that you want on this team. And that's a good third round selection uh, from Mike McCagnan, who really wasn't a good drafter, but was able to find a couple of nice pieces on that defense in the later rounds. And how can we forget Jamal Adams with all the drama there? The last two weeks, he's been 
downright great. He has five sacks in the last two weeks and has six sacks on the year. He is leading the team with six sacks. He's a safety. Your strong safety is leading the team in sacks. That's unbelievable. And to me, the defense has only saw really two, maybe three brutal games. The second New England game was really rough. The Jacksonville game was really rough. And I'll even throw the Miami game in there. So I'll say three games that were bad. But in every other game, for the most part, the Jets' defense has kept them in it. You look at the first New England game. Before things got out of hand, they were semi-productive. Same thing in the Philadelphia game. There was a few garbage time scores that got out of hand. If Sam Darnold was healthy in the Eagles game, the Jets probably have a good chance to win that game. And you know what? I got to give a lot of credit to Greg Williams. And like I said, I'm not his biggest fan. I wasn't before the year, but he has proven me wrong in a lot of areas. And he's gotten a ton out of a team with a ton of injuries, and he's made zero excuses. They are down to Arthur Mollette and Blesson Austin playing corner. Blesson was a six-round pick this year who's played five games since the start of 2017. Five games at Rutgers, which isn't really a big football program, as we know, because they stink. But nonetheless, he is getting production out of guys that no one else has heard of around the league. And you got to give Greg Williams credit for that. And that's what I'm going to do right now with this video. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments below. If you disagree with me, you could also let me know or get at me on social media at Matt O'Leary and why. Decided to wear the Texas hat today. I just got that in the mail. I'm trying to dabble into college football a little bit more. And I've pledged my allegiance to Texas, even though... They are playing Baylor and one of my favorite coaches in college football in Matt Rule, the guy who I want to coach the Jets. So maybe be a fair weather Texas fan and start rooting for Baylor a little bit this week. I think I put a little bit of money on Baylor. So that's my plan. Nonetheless, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll talk to you guys next time.